few people have asked me to give some information about how I made these pencils that I posted on Instagram recently. So they've all got photographs transferred onto them. So I'm going to do a very quick video tutorial to show you. So if you've got our book, Artful Memories, you'll have this technique in loads of detail in the working with tissue paper section. And there's loads of other projects that you can use with that technique. I'm going to just very quickly show you what's involved. So in order to print on tissue paper, you need something to strengthen it to go through the printer. So you're going to use just a normal piece of copier paper and you need to attach the tissue to it in some way. My favourite way is to use spray mount. Um, it has to be the repositionable one because if you use a permanent one, you're never going to be able to peel the tissue paper back off. Alternatively, you could just put some glue. Some people just put it on the leading edge that goes into the printer. Others do it around all of the edges. Um, whatever you prefer and whatever works best for your print printer is the way to go. So I'm just going to spray my paper with a spray mount and then stick the tissue onto it and then trim it to size so the tissue is exactly the same size as the printer paper. I'm then going to put that through my printer and print my chosen photo onto the paper. So I chose this photograph. Um, it's got a nice contrast of dark and light, so it should show up quite well when it's printed onto the tissue and put around a pencil. So I printed it and I've cut it out of my tissue paper. And because it's repositionable spray, I can just peel the tissue off. I'll leave it on there for now. So then you want to prepare your pencil. So to do that, you want a light background. If you've got a pencil that's already got a light background, then you're halfway there. Um, I'll use this one as an example. So I'm going to get some gesso and paint the pencil until it's well coated with the gesso. I'll leave it to dry and then I'll do as many coats as I need to do to get a really nice um, clear white coat. So here's one that I did earlier. As you can see, it's got a nice um, thick white coat. I'm going to do one final layer on that just to make it really white. And then I'll leave that to dry. My pencil's completely dried now. So I'm going to get my print ready. So I can work out how long I need it to be. So that's pretty much the right length already. I'm just going to cut it out. And then I want to work out how wide I want it to be. So I don't want the tissue to overlap because if it overlaps, it's going to make the image difficult to see. So I'm going to cut it so that we've got the whole of this woman on the left and then just wrap it round and see where we get to before the tissue meets again and cut it off there. And then I'm just going to use some matte medium and glue the tissue onto the pencil. And then just smooth it in place. And 
and just make sure the edges are well stepped down. So I'm going to leave that to dry well and then I'll do the finishing touches. So that's dried and the final thing I'm going to do is just use a pencil sharpener to cut off this top um, bit of tissue so that we get the shape um, of a normal pencil around the top. So it just makes it look more authentic that you haven't got the tissue sticking over the sort of shaped bit at the top. And that is it. And go back in the tin with the others.